today I am going to be sharing about how to get your creativity to flow. Okay, enjoy. Okay, so it's a beautiful winter's day. And I thought I would just share with you today about how to get your creativity to flow. Now what I see with a lot of people is that creativity, they try to link that in with their financial household. So for example, they want to write a book and then publish it, or they want to uh, paint paintings and then sell them, or they want to publish their poetry or whatever it is. You know, maybe it's your singer and you want to get a contract and you want to work with a record label, for example. And I was just discussing this with my wife last night and realizing that for me, creativity has to have the balance. That yes, it is great if we can share our, our creativity and earn income from it. But what I see with a lot of artists and creatives is that that becomes the only avenue for their creativity. So it's all about finances. And what that does is it, it kind of blocks the flow. And if you're finding that you're doing that, that's your, your perspective, then I invite you to create with, you know, for no reason. To, to sing because you love singing, to paint because you love painting. This is what I love about children, is they just create. They love doing it. They're not it, it, wanting to necessarily go anywhere with it. But as we get older, it's like we get focused on this. And I believe it's more the left side of the hemisphere of the brain, the more uh, analytical that, oh yeah, what can I do with it? And so we have that initial creativity, but then it, it stifles, it stops. So that's the first thing I would say, is that you just create for no reason. You write every day. And I love Julia Cameron's The Artist Way, which invites us to, to create and to write the morning pages, which is three pages of uh, shorthand, just boom, 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 boom without stopping, so stream of consciousness. The second thing I would suggest is to do with regularity. So that's kind of really the thing about Julia Cameron, is you create every day. And the simile, the analogy that I like to see is that our creativity is like this underground river. So it flows, and it flows, and it flows underground. And for most of us, we get a little bit creative. So we go to a workshop, and we, it's like we tap a hole, and the water starts to spring forth. And it's like, oh, this is great. This is lovely. But after the workshop's finished, after we've stopped doing the workshop, or um, we've stopped our practice, then the water dries up. It evaporates. What we need to do is every day is we tap another hole. We keep tapping with our creativity. And what happens is this starts to flow. The actual water starts to break out from underground. It starts to, to come out onto the surface. And then it starts to actually flow above the ground. So we have this, this genius. And that's what I'd say about a lot of these creative geniuses out there, like the Kandinsky's, the Miro's, the Pollock's, the uh, Coleridge's, they created, and they created, and they created every day. And I was watching Finding Forrester the other day, and I found that very inspiring. And in it, the character, um, played by Sean Connery, he says, you know, when you start writing, you just write. You edit it once you've actually finished um, doing the writing. And that's how Stephen King writes. He writes... He does no editing, he just writes whatever comes out of his head and then he goes through the process of editing. And a lot of us edit before we've written anything. Yeah. So, a few reflections about how to get your creativity flowing. And try these out. 
drive this thing of you create for no reason at all. There's no goal to it whatsoever. You're just doing it because you can. And the second thing is that regularity. And I talk about practice in so many of my other videos. And yeah, just see what happens and what unfolds. So from this beautiful winter's day and lots of snow, I wish you an amazing, amazing week. And just come out and show you beautiful fields full of snow. <laughs> Have an amazing week and many blessings. Okay, take care.